What's up guys, it's Looney here, and I'm back for another episode of the Angle Chasers Guide. And this one is going to be on Faint, or Scandinavian Flick, or whatever you want to call it, Entries. It's the one where you turn one way and then flick back the other way, and then cast it the same way you were turning in. That one. Hopefully, I can cancel out the noise from the wheel. I'm going to hope I can do that. And I'm actually going to try something new in this episode. I'm actually going to record this one live, because... I th feel that I could walk you through this one better because it's a bit more um, difficult in a sense. I feel like I could walk you through it better through the motions and then you could understand it better. So that's what I'm going to do. Sadly, you can't see the pedals or anything, but um, Scandin Scandinavian flicks or faint entry is really easy. It's just you basically full throttle the entire time and then you lift right after you hit 90 degrees or whatever. So it's actually really easy. So. Um, I'm gonna fuck this up. Let's just jump into it. I haven't practiced this at all. Practiced this at all. If I can fucking speak, I'm really tired. But, let's fucking do this shit. Let's fucking just nail it first try. I have a feeling we can do it. Oh yeah, by the way, SP Mod 32 got an update. Looks fucking sexy. Okay? Don't even say it doesn't, because it does. It's fucking sexy as shit. Sexy as shit. Okay. So this track is Victoriaville. I'll see if I can find a link to it and put it in the description. Um, and before I actually start the whole tutorial part of this, I want to say thanks for everybody who came and subscribed uh, from Slap Train giving me a shout out. Um, I actually was not expecting that at all. He just commented on, on my video and was like, hey, I'm going to give you a shout out in my next Need for Speed video. And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Fucking epic. Like last time he gave me a shout out, I gained like 300 subs. Don't know how, to, how many of them are actually active and actually watch my videos, but hey. 300 subs is 300 subs, you know? It's a, it's a big deal. So, um, I thank Slap Train for that, and I thank everybody who subscribed coming from his videos. So, without further ado, let's jump into this. Right. So, normally when you do a faint entry, you, um, it's normally going to be a wide track, because you need quite a bit of room to do this. And it looks cooler when you do it, and your rear end's heading toward, your rear end is heading toward a wall. It always looks cooler when you do that. So, um, the Victoriaville is a great track for that. Straight track to learn it on, and it's just really simple. So, um, sadly, there's no uh, telemetry. There's none of that. But, my wheel is crooked. No, it's not. Is it? No. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay, there is no telemetry over here to tell you when I'm on the gas and when I'm not, but am I in here? No, get off the clutch. Um, but I have this and I have that. I don't know what that's gonna do, but this will does this thing and it spins and does pretty stuff. So, we're going to do that. And you just pay attention to that, and I'm going to drift, and you can watch this too. And then, maybe you can figure it out. Maybe. Keep hearing things behind me. It's, it's really distracting. Alright, let's just fucking do this shit. Whew, time to fail. Right, here we go. That one wasn't half bad. Could've been better. Right, there's no point in doing the whole section, especially if you're just trying to learn the, learn the entry. Now, the reason I kind of put this after backwards entries is because I think backwards in entries are a bit easier than this. This takes a, uh, a whole really snappy, quick transition, and that's kind of, more of a more advanced thing, something you really have to have a lot of control over the car and what you're doing. So I, I like to, I figure this will be the next episode and the next stepping stone in uh, learning uh, drifting techniques so yeah I hope this isn't like overwhelming some of you guys it seems kind of ridiculous that I'm doing this this early or, or anything like that but I think it's just it's not as hard as it looks and if you do it enough times you'll get it down and, and get it done pretty easy um, so let's try that again okay you guys saw what I did I turned in right and right as I turned in I did a little clutch kick now I can do a clutch kick because I have a little bit more gear and I have you know a couple uh, I guess a thousand RPMs that I can just clutch kick and get some wheel spin out of. So I do that, and I turn in, the rear end kind of kicks out a little bit, and then I turn the back this way, and it flicks back that way, and then I counter steer back this way and catch it. And it's all a finesse game with this, it, like, drifting is all finesse, so if you do it enough times and you, and you get it right, you'll you'll hit it perfectly. Now, a lot of, you don't really worry about getting close to the wall, it's not a big deal, you just kind of want to get the entry down, and then you can worry about getting close to stuff with it, so let's go again. And see if I can actually get a better entry. How to use the e-brake that time? I'm trying to get trying to try and get one without using the e-brake. All 
Alright, that was good. In a way. I didn't get close to the wall. But I'm me. I like to get close to things. Go ahead and finish out this run. Close to this wall. There's a bump there. With this latest update, the steering lock on this car got reduced to 55 degrees. So it's um, a bit different. I can't exactly full lock in places that I normally want to. I had to retune the whole car and everything. It's a pain in the ass. But um, hopefully you guys just saw that. You guys kind of understood what I did. And you can always go back and just rewatch the video and figure out. So once again, turn in, clutch kick, turn out that way. When the car starts to flick, counter steer into it. So I'm going to do it in two more times, and then probably in the video there, because I don't think there's much more I can explain. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you know, post them in the comments. I'll try to bester, bester, I'll try to answer it the best I can. And um, if I can't help you by just typing on YouTube, I will maybe drift with you sometime. Maybe. I don't know. I, like, I'm a really busy person. I don't have time for a lot of that, so it's just, it's, it all depends. All right, two more entries. Let's do this. That was total sarcasm. Sarcasm, I mean. There we go. That was a good one right there. Just gotta hold it coming out. That was actually a really good one. Yeah, fucking didn't get on the gas enough. I cannot speak when I'm tired. I've just I've noticed that. It's just I try to say things fast because I know I'm doing something. And I need to say it before I get to that point. And I just fuck it up every time. <laughs> I meant to say that was total sarcasm coming in, going into that run, but you know I'm fucking retarded and I can't even say that. So one more run. That was actually a really good entry. That last one. If I can nail that this time. I'm not even gonna finish the run. There's no point in it. But the last two runs were actually very calm flicks. Uh, the first two I did, I think, were very more more aggressive and more, um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? More snappy. Um, but those were kind of calm and very controlled. And you want to probably start out with the calm and very controlled ones, and then you can work into this really snappy ones. I'm actually going to go for one more really snappy one, because I like the way they look. <laughs> and then, uh, finish this video off. I'm actually going to finish this run out. That was a pretty good entry. I have to concentrate, otherwise I, uh, I do terrible and fuck up and shit, so... I'm just bad like that. Oh! Nope, we're fine. Got it. Wall tap. Alright! So there you go. You saw how to do the calm one, you saw how to do the really snappy, flicky ones, and... and, and that's it. <laughs> that's the Scandinavian flick. Or faint, or whatever you want to call it. Now let me say some things about if you're trying to do this when someone's behind you. Uh, I know Brad, uh, the guy I do a whole bunch of my tandem videos with, he absolutely hates when I do this entry and he does not enter with it behind me because it's it's something that's not easy to enter behind. It, it takes, uh, you, have to have, you have to be a, I guess there's beginner, intermediate, and advanced drifters. You would have to be a intermediate to an advanced drifter to, to enter someone behind doing this in front of you. Uh, it's just a weird entry to enter behind and if you don't do it right you're probably going to hit them or you're going to um, hit the wall or something. You're most likely going to screw it up. So if you're if someone's behind you and they're not a really good drifter uh, just try and avoid this entry altogether because it'll probably fuck them up and they'll hit you or something else. So, But if you're doing it for a video or you're doing it for fun, shits and giggles do it all you want. It's a cool entry, but again, not when someone's following you. Uh, even though I do it because I'm a dick and I like to be a dick to Brad, <laughs> just to piss him off. But um, so yeah, that's actually that's gonna be it for this video. This minute, this video is nine minutes and thirty seconds long, and it's completely live. Now, if I can't edit this out, and hopefully there was no rumbling in the desk, because I know my wheel does cause that, and my blue Yeti picks it up because it's super fucking sensitive for what reason I don't know. Um, I know there's some shaking, so I don't know if the webcam moved. Don't know about that. It might have. Sorry if it did. Uh, like, this fucking wheel just shakes my entire desk. I don't know what the fuck to do about it. Like, this thing, this, it ain't holding up. You guys can't see it, but it's over here. It's my old stand. It ain't, it ain't working no more. So, um, yeah. Is that it? Did I cover everything?
Did I apologize for any inconveniences this video might cause in the making? I think I did. Okay. So, uh, once again, thanks to everybody who subscribed uh, from Slap Train's video. I really appreciate it. So it's a big deal to me. You know, I'm almost at 1,500 subs. I went from like 1337 or like 111, 13, no, 1340 something to like 1500 in a week. That's absolutely insane. I really appreciate everybody who subscribed. Um, just be st stay active. I'm going to try and stay active. And you guys just watch my videos and give me feedback, and I'll make the video best videos I possibly can. So, um, yeah, that's gonna do it. I say um a lot. I really apologize for that. I just it's I run out of things to say, so I say um, and then and then I don't have anything else to say, so I say um again, and that's it. That's what I do. So, <laughs> fucking hell. All right. So uh, if you got this video helps you guys, be sure to leave it a like and a comment. You know, comment if you have any questions or anything like that, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll try and get more of these episodes out. Tell me what you think I should do next. What drifting techniques should I do next? Because I can only think of so many things. But, um, yeah, there's just tons of things. The clutch kick. Oh, man. I don't think I need to do a video on that. The clutch kick, it's really simple. You just push in the clutch and let off while not letting go of the gas. It's pretty simple. Anyway. So, yeah, there's that. And, um, that now it's actually that, that is going to do for this video. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. Freaking love you. No homo. Maybe all homo. I don't know. <laughs> bye!